God looks at us in our current state and sees us in our intended state. Your breakthrough may not come the way somebody else got their breakthrough. Your breakthrough may come a totally different way. God has given you the victory and it calls the triumph is yours. Health is a mindset. Wealth is a mindset. Prosperity is a mindset. A true leader is willing to keep going when everybody else is gone. See, if you don't know you're a leader, you don't know who you are. You'll let the masses determine who you are by their opinions and what they do and what they don't do. But when you got an assignment from God, he'll turn to them and say, except you eat of my flesh and drink of my blood, you have no part of me. And you know, the Bible says in John 6, 6, John 6, 6, 6, you'll catch that. John 6, 6, 6 is where they no longer went with him. They departed. And guess what happened? He turns right to the disciples and say, you want to go too? Why? Because he wasn't afraid of having someone to be to validate him. He already knew he was. Did you know he didn't have to try to bring people? They were drawn to him because he was preaching a different message than the Pharisees and the scribes all that time. Here he comes. Repent. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He came and he began to preach them the, the kingdom constitution. He started talking about, you know, forgive those that, you know, that persecute you. He said, pray for those that despitefully use you. Bless all the pure in heart for they should see God. All of that. He, he began to give them the whole constitution of the kingdom. How it functions, how it operates. And the people came to him in droves and drones. They kept coming, kept coming. He going to towns. Why? Because he's teaching the message of the kingdom. Not religion. Not denomination, not man's opinions, but the kingdom. This Bible is a kingdom book. It's about a king. It's about kingdom. It's about his citizens, his family. It's about God's way of doing things. God's way of being right. This is the Bible, the word of God. And Jesus talks about there's keys of the kingdom that will unlock things. And whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. See, he gives us the word of keys, how we can live successful lives. That's what I'm sharing with you. This is what I'm sharing with you. Jesus came preaching the gospel of the kingdom. Matthew 4, 17. And from that time, Jesus began to preach and to say what? The kingdom of heaven. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is where? So he comes around. He says, he walks to you and says, repent. Change your mind. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Do you want it? So he comes to many people and he says, there's another way of living. When he says the kingdom of heaven is at hand. In other words, when you come to realize the way the kingdom functions, you're going to enter into a new way of living. Do you want it? Or do you want to stay where you are? You see, God looks at us in our current state and sees us in our intended state.